What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, hope you're having a great weekend. And welcome to this video in which I will show you step by step a full tutorial beginner's guide uh, on how to open your first derivatives or futures order, futures trade, how to open your own trade, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will show you how to open that trade with leverage. Um, usually it's called a future or a perpetual future, but a, a, per a perpetual is a future. And the future is a perpetual, just, uh, uh, yeah, we don't need to go into specifics, but it's the same. And in this video, I'll, I'll quickly show you just the basics of it. How do I open a trade? I'll show you that first on Bybit, uh, and then we will also talk about how to do that specifically for the signals I sent in my trading signals group. For those of you who don't know, I have a, I have a signals group now for one and a half months, has been running well. Um, and some people in the signals group still have some trouble with uh, with opening the orders which uh, sometimes i've been trading for over four years sometimes i kind of uh, think of it as too easy and then when people join it might be too difficult uh, which i understand so i just wanted to show you also looking at one specific signal uh, on um, how to set that up in an order as well but first of all let's take a look at bybit so bybit is the main platform i use i think it's the best exchange it's very easy uh, to use i think at least but i've also used it quite a bit uh, it has a lot of pairs had a, has a lot of volume and very low fees apart from that and i'm not sure if i'm allowed to tell that yet but um, i'm becoming an, an exclusive partner of bybit uh, the first of april so i would greatly uh, uh, well would greatly appreciate it but i would also really rationally uh, recommend you to open a bybit account it's not always possible depending on where you live uh, due to uh, in, in some regulations it's not uh, it's not legal so don't do it then um, but bybit has the lowest fees i think it's great to use and if you use the link down in the description to create an account uh, that would greatly help me as well so um, thank you in advance now let's get into how to open an order all right, so a lot of things right here. Um, Bybit is my main account, but I did transfer my funds off. It's just a little bit of privacy. I don't, um, I don't like to share how much money I have. So there's still some on because I have a live trade going on, which is great for the video. Um, but all right, the first thing you want to do is uh, not go to trade. If you actually want to open a futures order, which is what I usually do, and that's what I'm going to teach you. If you want to know how to set up other orders like spot orders or margin orders, um, I can do a video on it as well, but we will set up a, uh, a futures order. That's basically most of the signals I give. This was also a spot, but it works the same. All right. Um, so you go to derivatives, just press USDT perpetual. For that, you just need to have USDT in your account and then you can trade. All right. Um, there are more options, but they're too difficult for one video, for one short video like this. You press USDT perpetual, you get into this trading platform. All right. Here you can see that I do have some funds right now on the account, $1,300, uh, because I have a, have a trade open on Bitcoin right now, which is doing fairly well. It's in profit, but it's, well, it's, it's not near to take profit yet. All right, so it might seem like a lot, but there are uh, like two essential components to this. First of all, up here on the left, you can pick your pair. So we are going to pick liquidity, uh, because that's the signal I, I sent. Um, then you can see the chart. It doesn't matter. I mean, even if it, it, the chart really doesn't matter, you don't have to look at it. Order book also doesn't matter. But then here on the right, this is the most important part. Here we are going to set up the order. So the first thing you see is 10x. That's your leverage. All right. So how much uh, leverage you want to use, how much you want to leverage your capital or your money uh, to basically enter a bigger position. So with a higher reward at a higher risk, you should know that. I keep this between uh, 5x and 10x. I would recommend that. On Bybit, you can go all the way up to uh, 25x, kind of depending on um, kind of depending on what uh, pair you uh, change. But as I said, the, the, the higher the leverage, the higher the reward, but also the higher the risk. And I don't like risk. And then you have three types of orders, limit, market, and conditional. The only one you should use is limit, all right? Market basically means you buy at market price, which sometimes fills you in at a price where you don't want to be filled in. And limit basically allows you to enter a buy order or a long order, those are synonyms, or a sell order or a short order at a given price you can fill in. So if you want to open a trade, what you have to do, there are four things you have to determine. 
Um, you either want to go buy or, or, or sell. In this case, we are long, so that's a buy order. So then you press buy long with TP and SL. That's a take profit and a stop loss level. Stop loss is basically um, you type in uh, this amount, 1.86. When it reaches that price, it stops the trade and you have lost the trade. So you lose money. Uh, but take profit is the other way around. Um, you set up the take profit level. At that point, the trade uh, stops as well or a, a part of the trade stops and you have profit. All right, you always set those up because you don't want to, uh, that's just, that has to do with risk management, all right? You always want a stop loss and a take profit most of the times as well. And then you have the order by quantity. So that's basically how much liquidity you want to open this trade. But we're going to set up this trade. So for example, where you want to buy in this case, but it could also be where you want to sell. Um, for liquidity, for me, it's $2.00 up to 2.03 for so for people from the signal group usually i set it at the very top so that would be 2.03 is our order price then we set up the take profit and the stop loss and here it gets interesting i usually in my signal group work with two take profit levels so you take profit at the beginning and then you have the potential to gain even more with the take profit too what you do then is you fill in the second take profit level all right so 2.5 is the is the is the amount at uh, liquidity where i want to take those profits at take profit level two not tp1 we'll get to that in a moment and the stop loss is 1.865 all right so now we have set up all of the levels all of those levels you need to know and now we have to put in the quantity this is a bit of risk management i only risk two percent of my capital at one uh, at, at one point of time so in this case, let's say my equity is 1300, then my what I would risk per trade is $26. So then you basically figure out how much that is. So you type in 150, and then you can see here at stop loss how much you will lose if the stop loss is hit. So that's how much you are risking. Um, so if we put in 155, we're risking $26. And our take profit at 2.5 is $72. That is what we will win if we hit $2.5 at a take profit. Now we have set up everything. The entry price, stop loss limit, take profit limit, um, and, the, and, and, and how much you are going into this trade. We have only not set up the take profit one level. So I'll show you as well how to do that. Basically how to set up multiple take profit levels if you're just trading and you're not from the signal group. Um, but here, what you just do is you have filled these four things in. You press buy long. Confirm. Then you have opened the limit order. When it now reaches $2, it will be live. Um, now, what you then want to do is you want to have that TP1 as well. On Bybit, you can do that, but only when the position is actually live. So we could only do that if, if liquidity goes down to $2 right now, which I don't expect. It's a possibility, but all right. Then we can do that. Because with a live order, and this is why it was great that Bitcoin was live, what you see at the very end is close by limit or market. If you actually want to set another TP, <clears throat> excuse me, and on some other exchanges, you can do this as well. Um, on BitGet, for example. What you do is you press close by. There you can fill in the other price. So for liquidity, that would be 2.2. Uh, for, for Bitcoin, it's going to give us something very weird because, well, <laughs> we're not going to be able to close Bitcoin at $2.2. Um, you press in TP1 at closing price in USDT. Yeah, <laughs> you can see that we cannot do that. And then how much of the position you want to close at two TP1. So either 50 or 75% is what I would um, advise you to do. Uh, you press confirm after that. And you have successfully set up your take profit one order. Uh, take profit two is still intact, right? So it only, if you set that up, it only takes 50% or 75% out of the position, out of the total quantity you have bought with. Uh, and the rest is still open. Uh, and you have successfully opened the, the order, the limit order. Sometimes signals don't hit. I will update you on when, when to delete them. At current orders, you can just check that. Press cancel and it's gone. All right, so now you know how to set it up. Hopefully, if you still have any questions, I understand. Uh, let me know. Again, if you want to support me, if you want to easily trade with the lowest fees, sign up via Bybit at the link down in the description or the pinned comment. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.